So this is like really big. This is a really powerful problem that is going to arise in, in the world of information seeking. We are in the old port of Montreal at the new story tory. Oh my fucking forever. I create with a ton of creators, but when you don't have a space, it's really hard to build community. So for me, my goal is like to get it to a place where I can flick a switch and it's good to go. Like how can I have like cameras that are in particular areas that are just ready to go at all times that I don't have to set up and make sure all the batteries are charged. Like I, I can put physical space down in a way that's like, it's always ready. Specifically like a Casey Neistat, right? His space is a character in his story, but it's also a form of function, right? Like having battery chargers that stay there, that are labeled, that just are always ready. There's always a battery ready to go so that when you're inspired, you can, you can snap your fingers, you can pull on the camera, press record, and you're, you're ready. Yeah. And that barrier doesn't seem like a lot, but when you are doing this daily, when you are trying to become a daily vlogger or a regular storyteller, when you are making this happen on, on a team level and you're doing this with a ton of budget, and, and this is your livelihood, it's a very different thing than when you're gonna pull out your camera and you're on, you're on the beach of Tulum with your family vacation. There is strength in numbers coming together, and this is why marketing agencies are formed. They're more efficient because they have all the services, and you're more likely to get the big client because you could do everything for them. Build the strategy to, to actually executing and delivering the thing, the assets that, that go viral, plus do the Facebook ads and the funnels and all the things. That creates a massively higher value. So together, we are actually significantly more powerful and worth significantly more because we are, are making that happen. And the more that we as a team work together, the more that we have a capacity to also deliver faster, better quality, better content as a group. How do I recognize, help train, and find the next Banksy, or the next Casey Neistat, or the next Jesse Daniel Smith? What's up? My superpower is pretty simple. It's actually being able to recognize other people's superpowers and being able to combine them. I feel like I've got a, a very meta perspective around some of the different things that are happening in the world um, and, and kind of these macro trends that are happening in the marketplace, no matter the marketplace. And so for me, the superpower that sticks out is it's not only being able to see other people's talent to recognize and be able to kind of dissect it and learn from it, but then as that happens and you've done that with enough people, I've, I've gotten really good at combining those talents into teams and building community around that. And because I have this macro view, I'm also able to communicate to those people and to those, those people with that talent why they should be on a team, how they should come together as a team, and building a flag for the team to be able to fly together. Uh, my kryptonite is that I see too much and therefore I want to go in every direction. I've let good be the enemy of great and, and, and I should have just put out more. I should have just kind of done more. And, and I, can, I can speak to a thousand shoulds and ifs, but I'm happy with where I'm at. So if I had $500 right now, I would spend almost all of it doing research or hiring a mentor or somebody who has done the work before you. And then I would provide all the value directly to individuals. I would do kind of Gary Vee's 180 strategy, which is send direct messages, you know, hit up in the people in the DMs for what you are looking to offer and work for free. Do a ton of work for free if it means that you have to establish yourself and get it going, but create a scenario where you are being mentored. So that's definitely what I would spend my first 500 bucks on. So this is like really big. This is a really powerful problem um, that is gonna arise in, in the world of information seeking is that when we get AI assistants like Siri and Alexa and, and, and all of these things, the biggest challenge that innovation and entrepreneurs are gonna have is that when you ask Siri a question like, what's the best restaurant near me? She only gives you one answer. And so if you're not that answer, in the same way that if you're not like number one on Google when you search something, you know, if you're number two, you still get clicks. Like you're still relevant. If you're number three, you're still relevant. If you're on the first page, you're still relevant. But if you're not number one in voice, oof, 
So being in the algorithms of the AI uh, of voice and then of all of these different systems, that is a macro trend that's gonna be massively powerful. And then a second trend that I think is super, that I'm trending really hard on is Amazon is like the biggest business killer ever of mom and pop businesses. It is going to take over everything and the fight for paid sponsored posts on Amazon is going to be massive. That is going to be a dog eat dog scenario. It, it is massively undervalued right now um, and, and it, it will only get more and more um, complex. E-commerce is growing faster than, than anybody expected, so it's, it's remarkable. If you wanna be an artist of any kind, if you wanna be a creative of any kind, the number one thing you need to do is figure out how you pick up your art and do it every single day.